Hello everyone and welcome to Lost in the Real. Today I'm going to be talking about the new film in the Predator franchise called Prey, premiering exclusively on Hulu. Does this film stack up to the rest in this series of films? Let's talk about it. Prey is directed by Dan Trachtenberg and written by Patrick Asen. It stars Amber Midthunder, Dakota Beavers, and Dane DeLiegro. Prey is the origin story of the Predator in the world of the Comanche Nation 300 years ago. Naru, a skilled female warrior, fights to protect her tribe against one of the first highly evolved Predators to land on Earth. The Predator franchise has seen so many ups and downs. From a schwarzenegger list sequel that nearly buried the series, to the fun but utterly ridiculous Alien vs. Predator movies, and the two ensemble-led pictures from the 2010s that tried to reinvent the wheel but ended up failing to find a devoted fan base. I'm probably in the minority and enjoy every single one of these movies, at least in some capacity, although none have come close to rivaling the original in quality. Quality. I think this is because the Predator franchise throughout the years hasn't been afraid to try new things rather than always sticking to the status quo. And that has never been more apparent with this new installment, Prey, that transports us back to the 1700s and follows a Native American woman at odds with one of the very first Predators to land on Earth. If that isn't a complete 180 degree turn from Shane Black's last film, The Predator, I don't know what would be. But it was an ingenious idea, and one that I believe reinvigorates the franchise. I also think that this film will not only excite a new generation of viewers and make The Predator relevant again, but also satisfy long-term fans as well. As long as they aren't sexist trolls who I'm sure will come out in droves complaining Prey has ruined the series by giving it a feminist spin. QI roll. This is just Dan Trachtenberg's second feature directorial effort after helming 10 Cloverfield Lane, and he has once again dove headfirst into a franchise and put his own unique spin on it. What I love about Prey is that it feels very much like a Predator film, but at the same time stands on its own with a very distinct vision unlike any of the others. This movie doesn't shy away from the brutality and gore, but its violence is depicted in an almost sophisticated sort of way. While all of the other films relied on a who's who ensemble of actors, Prey's success is held up on the shoulders of a single performer. And while past installments were over the top, this feels very scaled back and grounded by comparison. This is not going to work for some viewers, especially ones who like their action to err on the side of the extreme. But that's okay. That's what the past installments are there for. As for me, I love this new direction for the franchise. A bare bones, white knuckle, and almost primitive approach that blends science fiction and nature, both human and physical, in such a harmonious way. And while I do think the story is far too simple for its own good, which I will get to in a second, it works when delivering the action. This is such a beautifully shot film with some of the best damn cinematography that this genre has to offer. The set pieces are epic and the fight choreography so brilliantly executed. When our heroine isn't going toe to toe with the predator, she is facing off with lions, bears, French barbarians, and mother nature herself. So the variety keeps the movie interesting from beginning to end. I do have some issues here, however. While I love this bare bones route the filmmakers have taken, the story itself is just too basic for me. Take away the onslaught of different adversaries, and what you have left is a rudimentary survival tale with very little substance. And that has to do with the sheer lack of character development. While I do think that Amber Midthunder kills it in the lead role, there is so little known about this character other than that she is trying to prove herself to the men in her tribe. 
that I just had difficulty connecting with her on an emotional level. And because the story lacks so much depth, I have a hard time thinking that Prey is going to be all that memorable or will stand the test of time. I also have some smaller nitpicks, like the poorly lit final battle, our protagonist's underutilized dog companion, and the abrupt anticlimactic ending that sadly brings this down another couple of notches for me. And I would be heartless not to forewarn anyone who is sensitive to the harm or killing of animals in film that they should avoid this like the plague. If all of these critters weren't completely rendered in CGI, PETA would be having a field day over this flick. Suffice to say, although it has its fair share of issues, Prey is a refreshing take on this decades old franchise. And although I still think the original is untouchable, this one certainly earns its place in the Predator's legacy. So I will be giving Prey 3.25 Tomahawks out of 5. Though its basic survival story and lack of character development leave much to be desired, Prey takes the Predator franchise into brave new territory with breathtaking direction and brutal white knuckle action. Old and new fans alike will hopefully be pleased. Thank you so much for watching Lost in the Real. What are your thoughts on Prey? Does this new direction for the franchise excite you, or do you want them to go back to the basics? And where would you like the series to go from here? Sound off in the comment section down below. And until next time, my friends, take care. <laughs>